to Europe. Thank you. Much, uh, I give the floor to Mr. Stadler. Thank you, President. Thank you, President. Madam President, your Council Presidency, which was actually very professional, is always going to be linked with the failure of efforts to conclude an association agreement with Ukraine at the Vilnius summit. This is regrettable for your presidency, but at the same time, it is actually a characteristic for EU foreign policy, the endeavour to play off Russia against other countries has is something we should draw lessons from. Mr. Barroso talked about the spirit of the Maidanchi Square. It is a little bit overly romantic because we're talking about a price discount on gas which Ukraine has received in the meantime. Now here we're talking about a spirit of expectations of prosperity such as we've seen in Romania and Bulgaria. People in Ukraine believe that they can improve their standard of living, their living conditions in their proximity to Europe. But of course that hasn't got anything to do with the reality there. We need to look at the stance adopted by Ms. Ashton. We have to stop playing off countries against Russia. And that brings me on to the next chapter. In other words, that it's regrettable that your presidency has, is being linked to the ongoing efforts to make a military union of the EU. I come from a neutral state and it's unacceptable. We didn't join, we didn't sign up to a military union. And this military union has an image of who the enemy is. And if we're looking at the conflict situation which is being built up vis-a-vis -vis Russia is extremely dangerous and I am firmly opposed to what you said at the summit on the 19th of December, uh, not just you but other people with responsibilities in the Union about NATO and the EU. I, as I said, I don't want to see a military union in Europe. Thank you very much. I give the floor to Mrs. Uh, Suica. Thank you, President. You tackled great challenges of a technical and political nature.